In this video, we are going to cover the renovation filter. Now the renovation filter is used to distinguish elements that are new, demolished, or existing. So those are the three status that are available. It is absolutely critical to get this palette and renovation filter right here. It's a palette, it's a renovation filter. You have to have that or none of this is gonna work for you. So once you have it, I generally dock it down here. It doesn't take up that much space and easy to get to. So here is what we're doing. Um, all these elements, every element in the Archicad has a renovation status. And that status is shown in two places. One, if you click here, you'll see that this highlights. Also, if you go into the properties of the element, you can see here in classification, this is under the renovation status new. You can override your status here, but it's a lot easier to use the palette. And we're going to talk about this show on renovation filter. All relevant filters is where that you're normally going to have it. You can also select um, one of the filters over here. So the status is here, and this is going to be the filter that it, it's going to show on. However, generally you're going to keep this on all relevant filters. I'll make that more clear as we go through this. So it, this wall here is new. I'm going to click the icon here. Now we just changed the status to existing. So because of the way that the current filter, renovation filter is set up, nothing changed. So let's go look at this filter and what this means. So currently there are five filters that are in the system. These are the standard ones. And each filter has multiple um, choices here. And let's go through them. So on the proposed plan, we're going to show all existing elements. Because if they're existing and not demolished, then they're going to remain in the design. So we're going to show the existing elements. <clears throat> elements that are selected to be demolished will be hidden. New elements will show. Now, we go on. Existing elements, we're going to hide the dimension marker for existing elements. Sometimes you'll get frustrated because you'll find that your markers aren't <clears throat> turning on and it's because this box is checked. So I have a rule. If Archicad's acting weird, it's nine out of 10 times, it's a problem with the renovation filter. So go investigate. It's almost always the problem. Here we have an option to make the wall a solid cut fill. And also make it so it doesn't intersect that the walls actually don't blend. <clears throat> so let's try just selecting that and going through here. And you'll see what happened is instead of having this gray, the existing wall turned this solid color. Let's turn that off. Now, all of these are grayed out for this proposed plan <clears throat> because these are the demolished items and we're hiding them so it doesn't really make any sense. If we were going to show them then we have the choice to modify those elements like as shown here. Hide the opening to mark uh, marker again. Hide door and window symbols. Hide zones. Hide objects. So you can read through this. Transparent fill. Okay, so I'm going to go back to hide.
here we have an override and let's talk about what override means. So override, if we select override, then it will still show the elements, but it's going to be using the graphic overrides that we looked at in the previous video. So to view what those graphic overrides look like for new elements, this is what's going to happen <clears throat> to the new elements. So we can, let's just do some testing here. So all new elements, let's make them a dashed line with a different fill type. We'll fuss around with this just to make sure it's working. We'll hit OK. And we're overriding new elements. We're showing the existing. We're hiding the dimension marker. And we're hiding every element that's considered demolished. There it goes. So the changes, the not very exceptional changes, that were made were all because we asked the computer to do an override. We looked at the override rules, and yeah, sure enough, these are all of the overrides. So we can do something that's a little less, a little more attractive. We'll do an airspace, that's fine. And the airspace isn't really going to matter what these fills are. Um, we'll leave this red just for a minute because I'd like to show you what that does. So there we go. And if we want to get rid of the green, that's the background fill here. We can turn that to a gray. Let's turn it to this gray here. There you go. So everything that's new, these features, these items, all the fills are changing. Uh, and everything's updating according to those rules. If we don't want them to be affected by the graphic overrides, then we just hit show instead of override. Now we're back to our standard view. And we turned off the solid cut fill. Now let's add a couple walls. And before I draw these walls, I'm gonna go up to all. So I'm showing everything. Notice there's some items that showed up. Apparently they had a demoed status. And now I'm gonna draw a wall. Selecting demo, so every new element I draw is going to have that status. Let's say that there was a little bump out and we're getting rid of that. So if you look, I'll ungroup those. These are demo. So now when I go to proposed, they disappear. And what's good about the renovation filter is when something is hidden, it is completely pulled out of the model, which means it's not going to interfere with your building materials. It's not going to try to heal the walls. You'll notice there's there's no af after effects here of where the walls were connected. It's just completely withdrawn from the model. Now let's go back in here and let's say that we want to show the demoed items. But we want to do the graphic override, so I'm going to hit this to override. And these elements, say we're going to do real dash line, very light gray. Um, we're going to put an airspace. And the fill's going to also be a light gray. And there we go. We got a very light in the demo, and we may even want to make this background the screen. 
Now that takes out the fills altogether, and we just have a couple of light dash lines. If we want to change the that pen, it's a pretty heavy pen. We could go with this light gray, so it's a little thinner. And so now we've modified this. So we'll go back to hiding it, and we can have different different filters that display this information differently depending on the face. So here's the existing plan. This is just going to take all the new stuff and keep anything that's demoed will still show because it's what exists prior to the project starting. We do a demo plan. It's going to show the existing. It's going to do an override on the demo. You have all these choices and you can set these up. And if you just take your time and figure out exactly what you want it to do, the renovation filter works really well and um, it's a fantastic feature of ARCHICAD. <clears throat> the last thing I'm going to discuss uh, with regards to renovation filter is something that I alluded to earlier. This is, we'll call this the future plan. And we're going to show existing, show new. So no overrides. So this is going to look just like the original proposed plan. So it's basically the same. With the exception, so this time, let's say we're going to build a new shed off the back of the building here. Currently, these are existing. We want to make them new. But we also want to put, click this button. And what that does is I showed you a little bit earlier. It's show on renovation filter 06 future. So right now it's showing, but it, when I go to propose plan, it's gone. When I go to future, it's there. It's only going to show up in this particular fil uh, renovation filter. Now, instead of calling this future, let's call it. Option one. Hit OK. I'm going to take these same walls over here. I'm going to duplicate this, call it option two. Hit OK. And I'm going to tell these walls only show up on option two. So now I can go to my client and say, okay, we have alternative one or option one, alternative two, option two. And you, this can be a bathroom layout, um, anything you want. And it, again, instead of trying to manage a bunch of layers to do the same thing, you have the renovation filter. And the problem with trying to do that in layers is that you'll have the, the little artifacts of where the walls connected and they're not showing but they're still in the model and that sort of thing so this is a really good way of showing alternatives and and mod uh, uh, managing managing that so i go to all this was the demo and the option one and the option two are both gone I'm going to need to go through here, option one, delete those. You would need to make sure that you don't have elements uh, on renovation filters that you don't even know you have. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And that gives you a real brief overview of the power of the renovation filter. And remember, if you're having problems with your model, Nine times out of 10, it's a renovation problem.